I hear there's a new Mars rover currently in planning, on track for a launch next fall. The news is that the rover will be about the size of a small SUV, which is good to hear. I have nothing but the utmost respect for spirit and opportunity. In the three years that they've been chugging along on the surface of another freaking planet, I've gone through three laptops. That means that either they're incredibly well built, or I am harsher than the inhospitable waste of the Martian landscape. Or both. However, I do think it's time we established a real American presence on Mars, and I can't think of a better way to do that than with an interplanetary SUV. It also gives me hope that someday we will get back to that planet and colonize it, because wherever you find big honking trucks, you'll find Americans. As long as we're still in the production stages, I have a couple suggestions. First, the name. Spirit, opportunity, we're naming our spacecraft like they were Montessori kids. I think the new Mars rover needs a name that captures the true essence of exploration and scientific inquiry. The Thunderspace Planet Trampler. Second, let's talk speed. The current Mars rovers move at an average speed of one centimeter per second. Barry White's hands could have explored Mars's secret places faster than that. I think we should get something with some power under the hood. I want a Mars rover that can pop wheelies, do donuts, maybe jump something, chasm, gulch. Okay, we also need a way for the rover to take pictures of itself. We get these great photos of the Martian landscape, but I'm getting a little tired of artist recreations of the actual vehicle. So maybe it could have a little hatch in the back, and a little smaller Mars rover comes out, comes to the front, takes a picture. Or you could give it a big extending arm so that it could take pictures of itself, like on Facebook. Next, William Daniel's voice, the guy who played Kit on Knight Rider. We found water, Michael. It appears to be coming from that abandoned warehouse. Now that we're presenting a properly badass profile to Mars, let's talk scientific instrumentation. As I understand it, Spirit and Opportunity have little diggy, scrapey things to get under the Martian surface. But, as my aromatherapist tells me, there ain't no better way to dig than with a big-ass explosion. Tell me NASA couldn't get funding for the Blow Things Up on Mars mission. Heck, I'm willing to donate 20 bucks to the cause right now. Also, a tiny device that plants a drink umbrella every two yards. Wherever the rover goes, there's a trail of brightly colored cocktail umbrellas. Yeah! You like that, Christo? You're not the only one who can put things places. Finally, when spirit and opportunity reach the end of their useful life, when their little power systems start to fail, the new Mars rover should put them out of their misery. Just run the motor. It's the only kind thing to do. And there should be video.